All right, welcome back. Americans uh, across the country had a chance to see something pretty remarkable last night. The Rare Light Show also on display here in Middle Tennessee as well. This was really, really remarkable. So joining us now to help make sense of it all, we have the founder of the Genesis Science Network and also the director of the Wonder Center uh, Science Museum in Dixon that just opened up. David, great to have you here with us this morning. Um, help us understand this because I never thought I would see anything like this in Middle Tennessee. Not in Tennessee, no. I've seen it in Canada on speaking tours and things like that. But, uh, you know, this actually has happened Every so often, I think about 10 years ago, it came just down to the Nashville area and everyone saw a hint in the night sky. Well, it just so happens I was in Alabama that day, just a little bit too far yep. south. Yep, just a little <laughs> bit too far. So now this one, you were able to take some incredible photos, which I think we're showing yes. here. We've had, we have some of your photos that you were kind enough to share with us. This yeah. was really, really remarkable. How does something like this even happen? So what happens is, uh, and maybe we also have this photo, but I took a photo yesterday of the sun okay. using solar filters, uh, and you can see this massive super cluster of uh, sunspots. So this sunspot activity, there were a lot that converged together, and it basically created, you're seeing it right now on the, the bottom, sort of the five, six o'clock position on the sun, and it created this coronal mass eject. Uh, mm -hmm. CME that started streaming towards Earth. Well, now flares travel at the speed of light, okay? But CMEs travel, say, a million miles an hour, all right? So that wow. means that the sun, 93 million miles away, it's going to take them a little while to get to Earth. So we can predict what's going to happen. So NOAA had classified this as a G4, uh, I think yesterday afternoon, and, and G4 is severe. I mean, it's, it's going to be quite the solar storm. And then it moved into a G5, which is extreme, yeah. right? Well, when this G5 CME hit Earth's atmosphere or hit Earth's magnetic field, basically these little supercharged particles of plasma came down along the poles and just like the northern lights, the aurora borealis, and the southern lights, the aurora australis, uh, you see those only at high latitudes and extremely low latitudes. Well, this was so powerful that those charged particles kept moving closer to the equator, huh. down the states until all of a sudden we're seeing it in Tennessee, in Florida, in southern Texas, all over the U.S. I mean, I wait my entire life to see things like to, this. To see something like this. Yes. What I find to be interesting is, you know, we might not be able to feel the effects on the ground, but it can create some problems for, you know, pilots, people in the air. This is a really interesting thing. Yeah, this is this is something that is actually incredibly dangerous. It is something that is beautiful, but when you see those colored lights in the sky, that's a reminder that there are charged particles hitting Earth's atmosphere, basically. And those charged particles uh, can be very damaging because they can block high frequency radio, uh, which is what many ships use, which is what many airlines use. Uh, they can potentially destroy circuitry on satellites, push things out of the way. Spacecraft is extremely dangerous. Even on Earth, sometimes you can have transformers explode. Um, you can see voltage fluctuations. So it's definitely not something that is super exciting for the power companies. They're monitoring it yeah. as we speak. But it's something exciting for all of us who are able to sit back and enjoy it. And when I was able to set up a camera and a tripod last night yep. over the Wonder Center and Science Museum, and I saw these purples and these greens and these pinks, it was the most beautiful thing. Incredible. So real quick before we go, David, is there a chance we could see it again tonight? Yeah, there is actually a chance because a CME many times comes in waves and we're actually tracking another wave that seems to be headed here. It may hit a little bit early during daylight hours when we won't be able to see it, obviously. Right. But if it hits just after sunset, then there's a possibility. Okay. So you need to be looking up tonight. Yes. Tonight's the night I'm staying up past my bedtime. I know several <laughs> folks on our team, we went to bed early because the shift comes early, but this is one you definitely want to see. Yeah. Um, David, thanks for being with us this morning. This is incredible. Also, the Wonder Center and uh, Museum over there in Dixon just opened up not too long ago. Just opened up a few months ago. Uh, we got Largest come check science it out. museum in Tennessee with children's hands-on activities and stuff for adults. Uh, top 10 planetarium in the world. You got to come see it. Absolutely. David, thanks for being here with us. 